Hey guys! Hello! Welcome people, John Adams, Modern Design Aquascaping. Our team builds custom ponds, fountains, and waterfalls out of natural stone and wood. My goal, educate and inspire the world about ponds and water features. Today's video is another episode of our water feature design series. This amazing tube that goes 10 feet down into the ground is attached to an under pond drainage system. If you guys have ever saw a pond with a big bubble in the liner, it's because there's gas or water trapped beneath the liner, creating a pressure from underneath. A few days ago, before we had any of this rock in this pond, we installed a complete drainage system underneath this pond. This access pipe is how we can get that stuff out if it happens, when it happens. We have a plan for that. You guys stay tuned and see how we get it all put in the ground so that your next project is more successful and your customers will love you more when you don't get a giant bubble underneath the liner in your pond and go, hmm, that's weird. pond drain where it actually cuts through the bank and the access pipe is dug to the bottom of the pond level but it's actually located outside the pond. Welcome back to the Water Feature Design Series. This is gonna be a short, sweet video, but it's an important part of a recreation pond. I wanna share with you what we have here is a bottom drain. We do this underneath the liner so that when you're putting a rec pond in, you don't get the notorious pond bubble when groundwater becomes a thing. So this may or may not ever need to be utilized, but what you need to understand is we have installed a, basically an under drain, a French drain underneath this entire pond and then it all runs in to the bottom of this 24 inch culvert pipe. What we've done is carved a hole in right through the bank and all the shelving in the pond. This pipe goes down to the bottom of the pond just a little bit lower than the level of this trench. And you'll see from the, the video that I'm showing you guys how we dug all this out. We put the underlayment in to keep the soil from infiltrating the gravel. You'll note that the gravel that we used this time around, very small aggregate. We used a double wall corrugated pipe. It's got smaller slits in it. Normally, I would use a half to three quarter inch round gravel for this, not angular stuff. I like the round. The spaces are bigger in between the stones. It allows it to, to operate properly for more years without clogging. But you can see what we've done. Our edges are pitched in from the sides here, and that's very important to us. So everything under the liner rolls into these French drains. Then the hydraulic pressure from the water in the pond will shove all of the water into that pipe. Now, if we have an under the liner water issue, then a sump pump can be installed in that pipe, 
with the float on it. So whenever there's water in the pipe, the sump pump kicks on, pumps the water out. That's the purpose of this thing so that we never get that liner bubble. I don't know what else I can tell you about this, guys. Simple, corrugated pipe, wrapped up in underlayment. We're now gonna come in here, put a rock pad in the bottom of here because we have some massive boulders going in the swim pond. And uh, that's gonna give us a double layer of protection. Then in goes the liner. Everything built on top. If that pipe stays dry, you never have to put a sump pump in it. If there's ever a problem, you have a, basically an insurance policy so that you don't, you can't come do it later. Just saying. So thanks for tuning in to the water feature design series. I hope you learned a lot about how to put a proper drainage system underneath a water feature. You know this applies to large koi ponds as well as recreation ponds and swim ponds. So do me a favor. If you like all that, give us a thumbs up interact with me in the comment section down below and I will answer whatever questions you have to help you design more incredible, more functional water features in the future. Thanks man, I appreciate you hanging out with us. John G out. Subscribe.